Hey guys, this is Captain Jack Sparrow, and I, I'm going to warn you right now, this is not a let's play. This is a how-to. I have received some questions about how to get um, the much-desired Sky Factory 2 mod pack from Bacon Donut, and I decided instead of answering this question via Facebook or Twitter or phone calls from friends and family or or so on and so forth. I mean, you guys know how it works. I, I wanted to show you guys how to get Sky Factory 2. Um, but this is how I'm going to respond to most of these kind of questions. So let's go ahead and get it going. This is going to be a very short how-to video. Um, in any of your browser, just to open up what I'm using is Google. Go to www.atlauncher.com. It will be in the... Um, the description down below and it's kind of a little convoluted because you immediately go right into um, what looks like a message board but it's not really a, you, the first thing you see is they've got their toolbar here and a complete tech savvy person not that there's anything pro anything wrong with not being tech savvy but if you don't know how this this page is set up you downloads is right there it may sound simple for me but for somebody that doesn't understand how stuff is working or maybe they just want to get the game and and they don't have a huge tech background you would click on downloads but don't ignore this page and here's why this is where the AT launcher crew staff company um, I'm just gonna call them crew uh, puts out all their news articles and there's a lot of information in here, so um, pay attention to this page. This page is very important. Now, back to the original question is, how do I get Sky Factory 2? Well, it's very simple. Click Downloads and scroll down. Again, with a lot of information, how to download, how to install a YouTube video right here, which is a great resource to look at. But down here, I'm on a Mac. It's very obvious. Let's use a Mac. Uh, configured file but Windows users Windows users dot use dot exe files as Mac users don't um, and Linux users will use the the dot jar file so go ahead and download the application you just click it and it'll show up in your your downloader or uh, click the Mac one and it'll show up as a zip Un open up the zip and extract the file and then it'll show up with the normal app drab to the app folder if you want and go from there once you have the application installed, then go ahead and launch the application. Um, I throw the AT launcher on my desktop, and and I mean it, it's fine. It can go over there, but it, as you see, it's Captain Jack Sparrow's AT launcher. It, I don't own AT launcher, but this is my login. Um, again, you're you're provided a lot of information here, which I believe kind of mirrors their their homepage. Um, giving you the up-to-date uh, information and news. So once you've done that, and if you feel the need to read, read away. Now, this is a little different in terminology versus maybe like FTB or, or uh, like Void Launcher. They call things packs and instances where others may not. So the packs is the mod pack itself you cannot play from here you cannot click and and play the game from here this is where you install your mod packs and this is also where it gives you a whole bunch of information now right now um i believe at launcher holds a um a ranking system in their launcher to where the most popular downloaded is top of the line so, um, or top of the list, not top of the line, but top of the list. And the not least popular, but least downloaded, I'm going to say, because I think all of these are great and awesome. And I hope one day I have enough time to play them all, but that's not going to happen. I've got to step out of the house. Anyways, to download the pack, it's very simple. First thing I would always suggest you do is read the disclaimer here, um, make sure that you're this is what you're looking for now i know in some of these they will list out some of the 
the the mods that are in here. Uh, I know in the Feed the Beast you can actually get the whole list right there, but in the the AT Launcher, it, view mods. It's very awesome. It gives you a whole list, tells you what is optional, what is not. So when you move on to the next page, you can actually select the mods you want. Like me myself, I left every single mod on and turned on the optional ones except Tails. And the reason I did that is because, yes, Tails are awesome. It's a great mod. But for my game style and my gameplay, it doesn't fit. I don't need the distraction. As you've seen in my Let's Plays, I get distracted way too easy. So I took Tails off. Uh, I could have taken Hats off, but I forgot. I could go back and take it off, but I may play with it in the future when I run out of things to say. Anyways, um, I was drawing a blank, which was weird. Uh, so once you've viewed the mods, once you know what version you're playing, which is the next step, making sure that the, the mod pack has the mods that you want, making sure that you know what version you're playing, making sure that you have your account set up. You need to make sure that your account's set up. Here's where you do that under accounts. Making sure that your settings are set the way that you want them set up. Um, one of the popular settings is, uh, let's see, is bumping up the memory and stuff like that. I use this Java um, path and it seems to work out. I will go ahead and include this Java path in the um, in the description below. And what this is is it unlocks the um, the unlocks Java to allow a 64-bit sorry unlocks Java 7 to allow 64-bit data transfer or something like that. I had some lag issues a long time ago and putting this in, which was a long time ago, it worked and I will never take it out because um, well it works and I believe this one is specifically for Mac. So uh, unfortunately Windows users, I'm sorry, I don't have a Java applet that will help you decrease lag. But that could be another video if somebody asks how to do that. So anyway, back to what we're looking at. Uh, make sure your account's set up. Make sure your configuration is set up the way you want it. Then once you have that, then let's go ahead and install the pack. And we're not gonna, I'm not going to do this because I have already done this. But the thing that you need to make sure that you've done is if you look here, these are Sky Fa different versions of Sky Factory. This is Sky Factory 1 right here. Sky Factory 1 has been removed from the open viewing of the uh, the AT launcher. So you can get Sky Factory 1 here, which I so want to click it so I can play with Thomcraft or with, with Darkcraft again, but no, we're playing Sky Factory 2. But now you know Sky Factory 1, Minecraft 1.6.4. It's still active and live, and you can still play it. It's just not being serviced, maintenanced, or updated by Bacon Donut anymore. I don't know if anybody's going to pick it up. At least that was the information that was given out during the launch, uh, the launch cast on Twitch TV uh, back in December or January, whenever it launched. I can't remember what exact day. So once you've done that, you name it, whatever you want to name it. You click install. It pops up with a similar screen to the view mods. Actually, let's do it on a different pack. I really don't care if I install a different pack. Sure, we're going to take this one. Okay, it's going to say boom, but it'll be for Sky Factory. Um, now, these are the required mods. You cannot take them out because what's going to happen is you're going to start... You can take them out. Don't get me wrong. You can take them out, but not with a launcher. You have to manually take them out in the file structure in explorer if you're windows in finder if you're if you're on a mac and i have no idea on linux but the problem that you're going to run into is you're going to start seeing dependent mods start not working and errors popping up and that's not good so uh i would suggest for for new users to to at launchers if you're not experienced i would not suggest doing that but shoot your heart out if you want and you're not afraid of crashing your your Minecraft and starting over, that's that's fine. Uh, this is a sandbox, you do it how you want. Um, so anyway, so obviously it's very simple. You want the mod, uh, you don't want the mod. Put the check if you do, uncheck it if you don't. Click install them all. 
Oops. I didn't want to install it. Oh well. It's installing. Um, so once it installs, it pops up with a window. It says, boom, the mod is uh, the mod pack's installed. You're going to find it in the instance tab. Okay, great. Let's go to the instance tabs. And hey, look, there's Resonant Rise. Okay, and then you can click play or delete or clone. You can edit the mods from here. You can enable or disable mods. Oh, wait a minute. I guess you can. Can you dis... No, so you still can't disable required mods. Um, but yeah, if you add a mod, like uh, let's say somebody added Bibliocraft, or I added Bibliocraft to this, um, I, it would show up here, and then I would have to enable the mod and so on and so forth. That's in another video. We're trying to show you how to get Sky Factory 2. So anyway, it will show up here. Now what I do is, we're going to go ahead and delete. No, 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 wait. No, what am I doing? I clicked rename. I don't want to. Uh, delete? Yes. Okay. Um, oh, cool. That's kind of cool. Delete instance resident. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Now, because this is the mod pack that I'm doing my, my Let's Plays on and, and spending a lot of time on right now, I've minimized the, uh, the, the tabs. So it's kind of sticking up there at the top, mainly because I don't want to have a full screen. And then very, very simple, uh, click play, it will launch the game for me, and there comes Java, and up we go. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this, because really we don't need to, to get into that. Uh, AT launcher, you don't go there, uh, you go there. Uh, so yeah, so right now, I use currently four launchers. And I will be making more Let's Plays and more how-tos and more videos as time comes free, as I stop making a plethora of videos for uh, Sky Factory 2, I will be making more videos. So these are the, the different uh, launchers that are out there. There's uh, Server Miner, there's Void Launcher, and there's Feed the Beast and AT Launcher. Now, there's probably a whole lot more than that, but uh, for the most part, these are the three that that I use and yeah so but right now uh, AT launchers is kind of taking the cake so it can be that big anyways guys uh, this is Captain Jack Sparrow and this was how to get Sky Factory 2 at least on a Mac it's pretty close to the same on a PC so with that said guys if you like my videos and you want to see more of how I'm doing things and what I'm doing smack that like button hit subscribe if you're new to my channel and please don't just do it for me do it for fellow youtubers they can all use your support we can all use your likes and your subscribes it helps the end goal which is to have a large community of content that you guys are looking for so with that said guys i'll see you in the next episode and have a good day